Hello, my name is Yolita Brilliant. I'm the owner of Brilliant Massage and Skin Care and today I wanted to talk to you what are the best massage styles you should go for. Often uh, people don't know which massage style they should do. That um, is totally fine because most places are going to uh, know and help you and therapists will know what they need to do in uh, order to help you. Now deep tissue massage might sound like it's going to be painful and deep but that is not true because deep tissue massage does not mean painful. It means that it works with lower deeper layers of the tissues and fascia and muscles that are more underneath the superficial layer. Uh, that just means, yes, it could be more pressure, but doesn't mean uh, it could be painful. Or uh, Swedish, you know, doesn't mean that it's gonna be very light because it can be deeper pressure too, but it's not necessarily targeting the lower layer pressure. You know, sorry, the lower layer muscles. So it's really about the technique, the muscles, not so much about the pressure. But you know, if you look generally, deep tissue probably is gonna be a little bit deeper or can be deeper just because it's trying to work with those uh, layers of the muscles that are maybe under the other layer of the muscle, like the you know trapezius rhomboids, and then there is. Uh, spinal muscles that lay lower or you know psoas or different layers that we have in our body it's uh, gonna be just deeper to access them uh, now so Swedish deep tissue these are the main styles then there is style like hot stones which is a relaxing add-on usually more to um, Swedish massage but also can be added to any massage for the most part uh, and can be used to kind of warm up relax the tissues while they're being worked in conjunction with other styles uh, there's different kind of styles of uh, hot so massage but in general you know it's used in that way then there is um you know ashiatsu which is done with feet which is very relaxing also so deep tissue massage but it's different because it's not as much as a trigger point like deep tissue can be uh, but it's more even smooth strokes and it's done with feet and the bars on the ceiling then there is stretching, you know, which can be incorporated to mostly deep tissue or sports massage. Now, sports massage is nothing really different than deep tissue massage, uh, but it might just incorporate more stretching and targeting more muscles that are used during your sports activity. So it's kind of just, um, you know, like deep tissue can also target, but with sports, you kind of specifically focus on that sports performance improvement and recovery so you're targeting those specific muscles you know that's kind of the difference I uh, then there's like prenatal massage which is gentle we never do deep tissue with prenatal massage uh, and you know the pillow the face down pillow can be used the other uh, you know is medical massage which is a little bit similar like prenatal massage is also kind of um, more gentle and there's craniosacral massage which is gentle uh, manipulating mostly cranial area uh, and there's certain um, protocols that therapists follows when they perform those so these are kind of like the main you know massage styles and there is so much more there's more massage styles you know CBD aromatherapy uh, there is different add-ons, you know, Graston, uh, ISTM, Gusha, Cupping. Those are kind of not just full body massage styles, but those are more like add-ons to your other massage basic style, either to deep tissue or Swedish or whatnot. So I hope this video were helpful and you learned something. So don't worry when you go to a spa or massage therapist location, uh, you know, just tell them what your concerns are, what your goals are for that day. 
and our therapist will be able to know, at least if they're good therapists, they will be able to know what they should do. And always speak up, don't be afraid to speak up uh, during your massages because, um, you know, nobody's a mind reader and people um, always want the best for you, but if you don't tell them what hurts or what's uncomfortable, they're not going to know. Most of the time, they uh, might be focusing on something else, and so that's important always. Okay, if any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I'm also on Instagram at Yulia Brilliant, and our office is in Burlington, Vermont, uh, on King Street if you want to come in to see us. Uh, we welcome you. You can look online or contact us. And I hope you have a brilliant day.